leaders took a knock when they entertained Stoke City, a team needing three points to keep their promotion chances very much alive. Given a further example of the Villa home jitters and the inclusion of loan signing David Puckett, Stoke must have fancied their chances of keeping alive optimistic hopes of a playoff spot. Villa relied on the physical presence of Gary Thompson and Alan McAnally to forge their openings from crossfield assaults. Andy Gray benefited first, but Scott Barrett was his equal. With Stoke forced into a reshuffle because of injury to Jerry Daly, Villa sought firm control. Thompson beat a ragged offside trap, but McAnally could only steer his effort straight to Barrett. Stoke's first opening came after a full half hour. Puckett's miss kick gave Stainrod a chance against his former club, but Keown was on hand with a timely block. Puckett's impressive work rate saved Stoke before the break. McAnally seemed assured of the opener after Thompson's efforts, but the interception was immaculate. In the second half, Villa continued to threaten, but without that vital cutting edge. Barrett was again the victor in a battle with Thompson, before Stoke inched nearer to the playoffs as Phil Heath beat a hesitant Villa rearguard to Shaw's cross. Stoke's chances of an extension to their season may be only a glimmer. Villa's home form could yet make their run-in tougher than it should.